Yo, what's up guys? Colorado Sports Review here. The Avalanche pick up a nice win, a dominating win over the um Anaheim Ducks in Colorado, 8 to 4. Um honestly, great game from the Avs except for the first 20 minutes and they didn't even play particularly bad, but we'll get into that. Um but yeah, it was a crazy game. Um, the first period was insane. Um, but basically, started out, Avalanche get an early goal um, from Burakovsky on a rebound from Kadri shot, I believe. Um, and, or was it Gerard? I don't know. But that goes in for the Avs. And then like 30 seconds later, the Anaheim Ducks score on a goal that should not have gone in because Hunter Miska, and we'll talk more about Hunter Miska, but um, Hunter Miska was sliding all over his crease and left an open net, net for the Ducks defender, and he got a goal on, back, on the backhand. Um, so then the Ducks score, and then the Ducks score again, um, one of their players rips it, blocker side. Hunter Miska should have stopped that one as well. Um, it's a routine save for a goal for an NHL goaltender. Um, maybe not an AHL goaltender, but an NHL goaltender should have that every time. Um, and now it's two one. I'm like, dude, we Hunter Miska's really got to lock in here. We gotta, we gotta do something about it um, because he's just not playing well. Then the Avs would score again. Nazem Kadri with a beautiful slapper coming down the left side of the ice. Claps it past Miller. Great goal from Naz. Uh, Naz has been on fire recently, and you love to see that from Nazem Kadri. Um, doing a bit of everything. Um, and then uh, later, the Ducks score again. Um, and it's, I don't remember who it was. But it was a shot that just went five hole um, on on uh, Miska. He should have been able to close the five hole. That goal was again on Miska. There was a little bit of a defensive breakdown by the Avs. Um, but that is going to happen. That's why you have a goaltender in net. Um, that one was also on Hunter Miska. Um, and at this point, I'm like, we should probably pull this guy. Um, it's not good. Hunter Miska, after the games I've seen him play, he's not an NHL goaltender. He needs, he is an AHL or lower goaltender, and he just was, did, he just really wasn't playing well. Um, then, uh, the Ducks score again to make it 4-2. to two. Um, I don't remember exactly what the goal was, but it was another, I know for a fact it was another goal that Miska should have had. Um, and the game is 4-2, so four goals go in on seven shots. That is pretty damn atrocious, if I say so myself. So it is, uh, the shots are like 11-7 to Colorado, but Anaheim has four shots on seven goals. Um, actually, sorry, their fourth goal was a penalty shot, I forgot. That was on us, because we, we took the, we gave them the penalty shot. Um, but... They scored on the penalty shot, kind of just just a normal shot. Miska didn't play it right under the armpit. Um, but again, he should have had that one. Um, and then, and it was also somebody who hadn't scored in like forever. Some like old dude who like <laughs> hadn't scored a goal in forever. So, I mean, you, 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 that person scored on you, bro? Like, mm, yikes. Um, and then... In the second period, the Avs come out on all cylinders, and they have Philip Grubauer back in net. And once he is in net, I feel like everybody was calmed down. Everybody felt comfortable. Grubauer gets some early saves. He gets settled in right away. Uh, and there's a little bit of back and forth play, but pretty much the Avs just dominating. Uh, and then about 10 minutes in, it is who was who had the third goal? I. Th I think it was it was Burakovsky. A it was a nice snipe from Burakovsky um, to make it four to three. 
um, and it tipped off of Nazem Kadri's stick. Um, and yeah, that was a nice goal. Um, Burakowski is continuing his hot streak as well. Um, actually, sorry, the third goal was Rantanen. Ran the fourth goal was what I just talked about. Third goal was from Rant Rantanen. He basically did the same thing he did a couple games ago versus the Ducks. He banked it off the back of Miller and into the net. Nice goal by Rantanen. The IQ there, bro, it's, just, it's a crazy play. It's awesome when that goal goes in. It was behind the goal, and he just banks it off Miller's back into the net. So that makes it 4-3. to three. Then the goal I talked about makes it 4-4. to four. End of the second period. Then the Avs go into the third period and absolutely just dominate. Just freaking dominate. Um, and you could just see the Ducks just were shutting down. Um, and it is McKinnon on the power play finally gets a finally gets another you know good goal and he just fires that thing past miller on the power play a good old mckinnon slap slapper so you love to see that one timer so you love to see that from mckinnon um then uh gerard a little bit of more of a lucky goal but the ducks defender was right in place for gerard to do this gerard basically from the side of the net Shoots the puck over and it hits the Ducks defender and rolls right into the net, making it 6-4 for the Avs. McKinnon would have the game-winning goal, the one I just described earlier. but So that was big for Mac. Um, and then Gerard with that one I just talked about. That was big for Gerard too. Um, and then the Ducks pull the goalie with about three or so minutes left. Belmar hits the empty net, second empty net and second goal for him of the season. And then to add on the agony and pain for the Anaheim Ducks, they ask another power play, and it's Brandon Saad scoring a nice little goal, but he had a pretty open net, and that is your final, Avalanche 8 and Ducks 4. Next game, we play the Minnesota Wild uh, on Friday? Friday? Yeah, you play them on Friday. Uh, we really, we got to win this game. Um, I want to win this game versus the Wild. It's going to be a great game, but I really want to, really want to beat the Wild. Uh, but as they are on a four-game win streak, I believe now, great game, great response. And uh, in terms of Hunter Miska, hopefully we figure out what to do with him because he should not be playing in an Avs uniform. But I do feel bad for the guy. Obviously, that's tough. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Ads win 8-4, and uh, I will see you next time. Peace.